hate to give up on it because it's kind of it's kind of cool looking. Hey, welcome back. So I found this little piece. I don't know that I would really call it a burl. It's got a little rot on the inside. So I'm thinking maybe if I just kind of cone out the back and then dish it out, clean it up and spray it, it's gonna look pretty cool. So what I'm doing here is trying to figure out before I drill a hole, or actually since the center is pretty, pretty rotted, before I mount a face plate, kind of want to get it some sort of centered so we don't have the same problem as as we did with the uh, Osage dish a while back. I think that's going to be the center point. Alright so I got it pretty well pretty well centered. Let's see. Or even. So I can kick it up there a little bit. I am wearing gloves, yes, because it's bark. Probably little chunks of stuff I don't necessarily want to get hit in the hand with. I want to leave most of the bark, I think. So I'm going to flatten out just the bottom and make a recess. I've moved my lathe and it's deciding it wants to move on its own now. Alright, that should work. figure here super sketchy I mean really that's just being held on by, by that much the bottom looks really cool though I mean it all looks really it all looks really neat all right so it's been a day or two and I've got it soaked the rot with the CA and this real thin spot with the CA. I don't want to go too far down because I don't think this is going to continue dark. So I'm just going to clean that and scrape this. Uh, Mark asked me on the cedar video when I got that bad catch right here why that happened. And I'm going to try to show you and him why that happened. I was using the straight tool rest. Of course, it was you know quite a bit deeper than that. And what happened was it was so far over the tool rest I wasn't having and it's a short handle I didn't have enough support and I either looked away or didn't pay attention or whatever the tip was able to to go down it didn't have the support that was needed to keep it solid so so that's why I got that catch always get it as close as you can and use you know something that a bent you understand what I'm saying. I'm having a hard time this morning. All right, back to it. So like I said, I'm um, just going to try to clean this up a little bit. And then I'll hand sand this to get it kind of smooth. And then we'll let it dry before I put a finish on.
it is super thin in that spot and it's really just the bark holding it on barking some ca glue so i don't want a real i don't want a cut cut except for that bridge So there's going to be a lot of stopping and starting and whatnot. See, look, I got rid of that ridge. So that's good. Now to final, to final it up, <coughs> and before I get a catch, we'll go ahead and put this puppy in there. <laughs> so now I kind of got to decide what I'm going to do. Do I like that? Or do I want to try to put that back on somehow? If I turn her back on, that's going to come off. I got that piece put back in. I think it's done. I think it's done with the lathe. I got a ridge. Well, you can see it. Oh, where my thumb is. I got this ridge right here. The bottom's pretty well taken care of. I think what I'm going to do is not put it back on the lathe. I'm going to I'm going to drown it in some CA. Get this back sort of sort of firm. Wait a few more days. Come back and. Uh, and just hand sand that. Hate to give up on it because it's kind of it's kind of cool looking. Got that drenched. And my finger is now glued to the bolt. Oh. Nice. So I decided to leave it be. I wanted to turn it down quite a bit more. Um, it's probably it's probably an inch thick on the bottom, but I'm scared I'm going to lose this cool stuff. So I'm just going to call that good. Um, for a finish, I'm going to start with some spray semi gloss poly. which will get into all the little cracks and crevices really well. Now if you're wondering about the bark, which you should be, this was cut in the winter time. And if you want bark to stay on, you need to cut it in the winter time. That's when all the nutrients aren't flowing up the tree.
They've actually drawn out and sucked the bark up into it. Look, I'm, I'm looking around for my trash can and I'm using it as my table. But, there it is. So there it is. Um, I really enjoy that bowl. I think once it finally gets enough finish on there, it's going to be just wicked. So cool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the shows, I call them shows. If you enjoy the videos, be sure to share them around. Um, you know, if you if you like our content, not just mine. Of course, you know mine would be helpful. But if you like our content, post it on Facebook. Uh, tell your friends, neighbors, all that good stuff. It really helps. It really helps us out. Um, also, if you haven't seen it yet, still have this uh, cedar bowl as a giveaway at the end of the month. Just so go make sure you check out that. And uh, all right. So, have a wonderful day.